Hi, my name is Jeff Hay. Today we're going to go over how to how to archive data from one list to another. We're going to discuss this whole maximum of 5,000 rows inside of a gallery, but first we're just going to dump data from our primary data set into an archive data set and then display it within our app today. And, and this is basically what we're going to do. We're going to say we have this data as active data, right? This is all the tasks, for example, and notes here, and we want to dump them for the week whenever we want, right? We want to be able to say yes to the archive and have it go over into an archive section and then allow us to click on this button here to archive it and place it into archive long-term storage. So we're going to walk through that process of how to do that. So uh, stay tuned. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, we're going to take tasks here. We're going to put yes in here, which we've done on this one, and it's going to automatically place it inside this archive for the week. Now, this is not automatically set. I could make this as an automatic uh, Power Automate flow, but I've just put a button in here that calls over to Power App. So let's go ahead and just take a look, see how this thing's built out. So for me this is being built inside of a solution so that it becomes easy to move uh, this information all of the um all the associated flows and tables and things like that and so i can transfer this to another tenant this app but we're just going to go into the solutions just like if you were to go into power apps um, and select on your applications and you can see it right there priority manager and we're just going to click on there and we're going to say edit it and then it's going to come up and allow us to edit it which is here okay so we're already in there and this guy's right here nope that's not him um archive okay so here we're just going to go ahead and take a look here at what this looks like here so give me a little more screen size all right so first of all, what are we doing and how are we collecting this information? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect and you see right there PM2 archive from priority task list dot run. Okay. And then we're going to refresh that. Now refreshing is not always a good practice. I'm doing it uh, because I'm testing a lot of times. I'll take that out because it, it refreshes on its own. So let's go ahead and take a look at that flow right there. So let's go ahead and open this back up again. And we're going to go, we could go back over to Power Apps. We're going to go to Power Automate. We could go back to that solution section that I was just in. But I'm just going to do it kind of quick and easy so you can see. I'm going to go to my flows because they all share. Notice I have it right here as well, solutions. Well, we'll just keep consistent. I'm sorry. I'm kind of going back and forth on here. I'm going to go to solutions, but you saw that you could do it just like you normally do. And then here you see cloud flows and then there is right there. We're going to just click on that and hit edit. Okay. Now what this is going to do is it's going to open up and it's going to show us the flow. And we're going to walk through together what this flow looks like. Okay. So while we're doing that, let's go ahead and, um, Go back over to the flow itself and let's take a look at those two tables as well. So let's hit edit data there. So we're going to pull open that data source and then we're going to pull open primary tasks as well. So I'm going to walk you through that as well. Okay, so here we're just calling Power App. So when you create your, your Power Automate flow, it's a manual or instant. It's not manual. It's an instant flow. You're going to say Power Apps and that's all. Okay. And that enables us to enable this right here, this run command after we add it. So I'll, I'll go over that. So here we're going to get the items from the list. Okay. And here we're going to basically say that archive switch, which is the name of the text field I have in there that makes the archiving work. So right here, this is archive switch. Okay, we're going to say is equal to yes, one of those yeses. And we're going to do a top count of a thousand. Remember, if you do not put anything in here for a top count, it's going to stop at a hundred. And I know that it says right there, total number of entries 
default is all, that's a bunch of malarkey. If you don't put anything in, it stops at 100. So I just put in 1,000. So that's what we're going to do there. Then we're going to go ahead and create an item in the priority tasks archive list. So let's take a look. Priority tasks archive list, which is this list right here. Now, important note here. When I created this archive list, I went ahead and created it from, from the priority task list. I wanted to make sure that all the fields were correct. And remember, in order to do that, you're going to go, let's go over to site contents here. You're going to make sure when you create the list that you say from an existing list. And when you do that, it will automatically create the entire structure that you need in order uh, to populate this uh, effectively with this flow. Okay. So here, let's go ahead and open that up. So here I'm taking the value from the get items, which is right here. Okay. So notice there I'm highlighting it outputs and notice there on the screen there, it says where I'm getting it from. Now I'm going to create an item and you can see here, I'm just creating an item into my archive and then I've mapped over all of the fields. Remember to do that. We just click on the field and then we type it in. Now the environmental environment variables, Remember, if you're not using a solution, you're not going to see that. You'll just you'll just come up with this right here, okay? And then you're just going to look for whatever it is that you want and put it in there. Easy enough, right? Now, once you do that, now I want to go back into there. Notice the value is still on the archive switch equals yes. So that means that in this loop here, I'm using this value. So whatever data I'm pulling from priority tasks that meets this filter query, and for those of you who want to look at it in text, there it is. Whatever meets that filter query, that is the output that I'm going to create items in my archive list, and I'm going to delete the items from my priority task list. Okay, and so there we go. Now I know it's a little unnerving to delete items in your primary list. So just be careful. But here I'm just pulling this again for my get items. And then I'm just going to run a delete. And this ID is from, again, you can look, it's coming from um, that get items list. Okay, that's, that's it. So when I hit that button here inside of Power Apps, <laughs> just lost my train of thought there for a second inside of power apps i'm going to automatically engage this um this flow from app to start for me okay so i'm going to hit save here and we're just going to save the changes we didn't make any but we'll just i always hit save before i exit power automate and then um we're going to go ahead and watch and see okay so we're just going to close that out just like that okay now we've made no changes to this code, so we don't need to update anything. We're just going to go ahead and see how this thing runs. So we're going to go and push OK. Now it's going to take a minute. Okay. And so if we go back, let's go back to the app and you can see how it's running right here. Notice here, um, let's go to all flows. 6.04 a.m. Okay, two. Took two seconds to run. Okay, I can't remember if we took that refresh out or not. Let's go ahead and just refresh this data. And as we go back over there, we're going to go to archive this week. And now that task is gone. Now, if we look for that task, I can't remember what it is. But if we want to define that task, we go to archive long term and that task will be inside of this list of tasks here uh, that we've been working on. So 193, I should have shown you it was 192 before. So that's that's really as simple as this is. Um, you can develop this script. Now, what happens when I want to go back again? Well, when I want to go back again, um, which I haven't programmed in here yet, but when I want to go back again, what I'm going to do is let's go back up to that screen. 
uh, we're going to go to our search screen and here on our search search screen we will have a similar thing where we'll look uh, we want to go long-term search so here on this screen we're just going to put another uh, button in here when we click it that when we say archive equals no so we're basically just going to reverse the flow that we just created when it equals no we're going to delete it from this list so we're if I say no, I'm going to delete it from the archive. I'm going to put all the data back into priority tasks so it becomes an active task again. Pretty simple. Good luck.